Welcome back to Weird Stuff in a Can. Today's Weird Stuff in a Can comes from my favourite survivalist food supplier, conserva.de, and it is blood sausage. So yeah, this came from Dos and Bistro, which is the kind of house brand for conserva.de canned foods. I'll put a link in the video description. This is blood sausage, or as I know it, black pudding. Now, black pudding is a kind of sausage made from pig's blood. Uh, now, a lot of people are put off by that, but it doesn't bother me at all. In fact, I really like it. So, ingredients are 69% pork, pork blood, water, onions, salt, herbs, spices, sugar, dextrose, flavour and spice extracts. Well, it's black pudding. Guys, it's, it's a kind of sausage made from congealed pig's blood and usually, well, usually some sort of grain actually, but it looks like this is going to be quite a meaty one. So, what else can we say about it? It's, it's in a can. The use by date again is 2029, so there's 11 years worth of shelf life in this. Let's open it up and have a look. I'm not sure whether we're going to get in here canned whole sausages or whether this is just going to be like a slice of a really thick sausage. So let's open it up and have a look. It is a pull tab can but as you know I don't like pull tab cans so I'm going to open this using a can opener. Okay let's have a look. So yes it is one big chunk of sausage. Let's just see if we can get that last bit of can lid to come undone. Okay. Smells really good and meaty. That's good. And I guess that's going to come out in one great big chunk then. So it is quite soft for a black pudding. Now, in my view, the way to serve this is slice it up and fry it. So, I need to try to get it out of the can. So I'm going to try to open the other end of the can to release the vacuum here. Now it looks like that's going to work okay. Okay, so we've got what looks like quite a delicate black pudding, I would say, quite a yeah, I would say that's quite a soft and delicate black pudding, so I'm hoping that's going to be really tasty. So what I need to do is slice it and fry it. So I'm going to do that as part of a fried breakfast, except it's not breakfast time, it's going to be tea time. So we're going to have a big fry up. Essentially a full English breakfast, except it's going to be an international breakfast because it's got some German black pudding. Okay, so the black pudding has been in the fridge under cling film just to chill down for a couple of hours really. So it's actually firmed up quite nicely, which is what I hoped and expected would happen which means now we can slice it into pieces for frying. And I think I'm going to go for three thickish slices. Yeah, well that's how I expect black pudding to look like inside the actual sausage itself. These are quite thick slices, so I'm going to give them a good long slow cook in a frying pan. Not the most even slices I've ever cut either, but not, not to worry. So we're just going to go in with a little bit of vegetable oil, not too much. We'll turn the heat up high just to get the pan hot, and then we'll turn it down once it starts cooking. Okay, that should just be starting to warm up to temperature now. So let's get these slices in here. Now I'm going to have trouble fitting these in the pan, I think. Yep. Okay. So... A little bit of engineering required to make those fit. 
but that's okay. Right, we're just going to turn that down and I'm going to cook it nice and slow. Okay, so this black pudding, it came out, it kind of melted in the pan and so it's gone into quite a soft consistency. Very much like the morcilla that I had in Spain, in fact. So we're going to give this a try. It's a bit different from what I expected. But just let's have a little taste of this. It's actually of a consistency that I think it probably needs to go on a bit of bread. So we're going to just smoosh that onto a bit of bread and give that out. I'll try a taste on its own, actually, just so I give it a fair go. Hmm. Very soft, almost like a liver pate in texture. Um, really tasty, actually. Quite well seasoned. A little bit on the salty side, I would say. But let's just try. Now that's going to be steaming hot, and I'm going to burn my face off now. Let's just try it on a piece of bread. Let's see if I can do that without burning myself. Here we go. Oh, it's falling off the sides. Mmm. Actually, that's really, really tasty. I'm really pleased with that. It's the texture's a bit nothingy. It's a bit soft and insubstantial, but the flavour is absolutely amazing. So that's uh, Bloodwurst from Dosen Bistro from Conserva.de. Weird stuff in a can on Atomic Shrimp. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.